guys, so these things you see right here are my toys of yesteryear. So due to the recent lockdown, I have exhausted every possible strategy of keeping myself not bored. I've tried playing computer games, tried watching Netflix, I even tried sleeping. That one got boring real fast. That is when a big brain moment hit me. Toys. When I was a young boy, I used to play a lot and I think this is one of the reasons why I went into architecture was because of a toy called Legos and that is what we have in this box. Right here is a bunch of my old Legos and I believe that there are some Legos still hidden inside this bag of toys right here and this box right here. Anyways, let us start exploring my old toy collection. Don't do it, Anakin! I have the high ground! Master, you underestimate my powers! <laughs> oh, snack! So what else do we have here? We have a box of assorted action figures. So we have Astro Boy right there and we have the man the myth the legend obi-wan skibobis and then a droid for obi-wan kenobi to fight i'm not sure what kind of droid this is ah general kenobi we meet again oh hi mark <laughs> we have some sort of transformer right here this monster incorporated guy just click a button right in the back and bam surprise attack There you go. I made a mess, god dang it! I think this is one of those space changing guys. Yes, it is. There you go, he's a human and spin it, boom! He's no longer a human. There's this button at the back right here that when you press, Changes his face from a masked person to BAM! Your identity is compromised. What? Boom! Your identity is no longer compromised. Okay, let's move on. It's a horrible representation of Prince Zuko. So I believe this was from the Avatar Last Bender live action which kind of sucked. It's only fitting that their merch also sucks. So searching through all these toys and inhaling all the dust was worth it because we found two Lego pieces right here. Success guys, let's place that right there so we don't misplace it. Oh guys, oh, we found two more Lego pieces man. So right here we have this hipster Lego guy. Well, at least half of him. So let us join them with the other Legos we have found. Bam! Okay, so now let us move on to this bag right here. But before that, I need to like wash hands and place this all back into this box. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. Alright, so that last strategy didn't work out so well, it was hella messy. So now, new strategy, we're just going to bring out one toy at a time until we find some Legos and then after we brought all of the toys out and found, you know, hopefully like a hundred Legos, we're going to place back like, all the toys back into this plastic. Oh, oh, oh. Right here, so right off the bat I could see we have a Lego boat right there, which is super promising. Let's begin sorting out this box, I mean bag. So here we have some scalar dude and of course our Lego boat. And this, for those of you who do not know, is a Tamiya Let's Go model car cow. 
you know, Tamiya was all the rage back in the 90s when I was a kid and all I could afford was this fake ones. It's even branded right there, Jaida. So yeah, that was kind of sad, but you know, no need to feel sad because right now I could probably afford at least one Tamiya from all these monies that I'm gaining from all these YouTube views. Anyways, let's just put that aside right there. Bye, boom, triggers that ramp right there. The car flies away. And today's show is brought to you by the letter W. Hacky sack. We did it, guys! Three consecutive kicks. I am the master of hacky sacks. <laughs> guys, look what I found. Oh yeah, I can still yo-yo, man. Ooh, whoa, that almost broke my PC. It's probably not a good idea doing yo-yo tricks around my PC. Tricks. Dude, I can't believe I still have this. Hello, Mr. Obama. Please send me the million dollars, I need it right now. Freedom. Alright guys, we found another Lego piece right here. Hopefully we find more. We found some more Lego pieces. That is so awesome dudes. We're just like two thirds the way there. And bam, we found another Lego piece which is unfortunately dilapidated. All right, dudes. I think that is it. I think that's all the Legos there are. Now we are going to move on to this main box right here, which has most of the Legos. If you guys could see inside right there, so much Legos. Yeah, I'm just gonna tidy up right here. And we are going to start building some architectural stuff with those Legos. Alright guys, so I have some good news and some bad news. So good news is we have finally been able to accomplish all the sorting of the Legos. So right here, we have yellow Legos and then over here we have the blue Legos. And then right here we have the black Legos right there. Then some white Legos right here. And then some tiny Lego knickknacks. But the bad news is that we have a ton of fake Legos with our real Legos. So almost half of the Legos in that box was fake. So right here are some of the fakest of all fake Legos, meaning that they don't even fit with the regular Legos. Like it doesn't even fit, man. And then right here, we have some slightly fake Legos. So what I mean by slightly fake Legos is that they are compatible with original Legos. So you could like attach them to other Legos. So there you go. So legit Legos have the Lego branding on the bricks themselves. Also legit Legos fit pretty easily with other real Legos. So if you put that right there, that fits in easily and it is also easy to detach. So I seem to remember I had more than these Legos when I was a child but you know, time goes on, your Lego moves on into college and they leave you behind with your other crappy Legos to play with. Also I got myself like this tiny electric fan right here just in case you get warm while doing the Legos. So yeah, we can now begin building our Lego thing. Let's go.
And here it is guys, it is finally completed. I also had some extra time so I decided to make a car for this guy. So there it is. So let me give you guys a tour of the house. So right here in this part of the house, we have the garage area. So our dude is going to park his car right there. And then right here, we have an entrance from the garage. And then in front of the house, we have the main entrance for people who did not use the car. Then straight from the main entrance, we have our dining table. I also made like a bowl of food. I don't know what kind of food this is. And then right here, we have his sofa. So right there is his sofa. And then here is the kitchen area. So the circle right here represents the kitchen sink. Then right here is his range burners or his cooktop burners. Okay, so beside the kitchen, we have entrance to the bedroom. This is his bed. Those two things are pillows. And then this is his blanket. So it's a little stiff, but you know, he's a Lego person, so I guess that's fine. So let us just... I guess miniature Brack. Oh no, I cut Brack Ingles in half. No! <laughs> live, damn it, live! Okay, he's safe. So if you guys haven't met yet, I'm going to call this little dude Miniature Brack Ingles. Hello! That impression was bad. Anyways, so right beside Mini Brack Ingles' bed, we have his computer where he does all of his AutoCAD designs and whatnot for architecture. And we have his gaming chair right there. So right here, we have Brack Ingles' toilet. So right there we have his water closet. And then we have a very very small lavatory because I couldn't find another white piece like this. And then here is his shower right there. And then for the windows I added some tinted glass because we didn't want people to see Mini Bjork Ingles' butt while he's taking a bath so that's why that's there. Unfortunately I ran out of tinted glass Lego so I guess he's gonna have to cover this area with a curtain. Anyways, that is the whole house, my dudes. And I guess that is it for our LEGO adventure, my dudes. So if you want to embark in another LEGO adventure, just leave it down in the comments below. And, you know, I might consider it. We might, like, build an actual house with LEGOs. I'm not Mr. Beast. I can't even afford that. Anyways, thank you, my dudes, for watching. I will see you on my next video.